Hey, all you viewers, be name later. How we doing today? All right, man, the beast from the east, Chesapeake, is back on the channel. I know, big shock, right? You know how much I love Gary over there at Chesapeake. Today, we're going to take a look at I, the first of the Scent of the Month series that came out this year. I believe this was July 2020's first Scent of the Month, and that's going to be Distorted. This stuff is great, this stuff is phenomenal, and the only way to get it is in the scent of the month. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Chesapeake um, Beard and Grooming, that's okay, I'm going to give you a quick breakdown. For those of you who are very, very familiar with Gary and his products, skip ahead about a minute, minute and a half or so, and that should get you right into the meat of the review. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Chesapeake, you can find them at www.chesapeakebeard.com. Don't worry, I'm going to leave that right down below in the description box. One click, easy access. They are proudly made in the USA out of Indian Head, Maryland. They are 100% veteran-owned. Gary, the owner, is former United States Marine Corps. So if you're like me and you like looking for veteran-owned businesses, you want to go there first and give them your money. They do have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Gary really will work with you to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. But, let's get honest. You're not going to go, hey, I don't like this, return it, get something new. And go, hey, I don't like this, return it, get something new. You're not going to go right through his whole entire product line with one purchase. Let's get real. We all know it's not going to happen. We all know people are going to try. But still, Chesapeake was founded with one huge principle in mind. They wanted to bring you the best products and services imaginable on the planet. They have no hype. They have no BS. They have no gimmicks. They let their products speak for themselves. And I think that's phenomenal. Every single product that Gary puts out is based off a lot of research. He just doesn't throw a whole bunch of stuff together and go, God, I hope it works. He does a lot of testing and he does a lot of tweaking and everything else to make it perfect for you. Now, I have to say it this way, and it may sound weird. All products that they are legally allowed to make in-house, and this is per um, FDA ruling, they really can't do their wash and co-wash in-house where they're at right now, so they have to do that to a lab. But everything else, they do not use a co-packer. They make it themselves. They package it themselves. They ship it themselves. They do it all in-house, what they legally can do. Okay, now let's get on to the really, really cool part of this, all right? I know you get, you're going, hey, fat boy, what's the scent profile? Strawberry, amber, and oud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. It's got a very mild scent strength in there, and those strawberries are very, very prevalent. They really, truly are. And just that oud adds something a little extra to it. Oh, it lasts in my beard about a good six hours. Seriously. Between the two of these, my beard feels freaking incredible. It's not baby butt smooth, but oh my God, is it close. When I use these stuff, I have a great beard day. Now, I'm going to say it like this. Okay, I do have an affiliate code with them. Look right here. It's Chris10. Use that for your future purchases. Now, I have to kind of put it like this. There are some things you're not going to be able to use it on, and you'll know right when you're trying to check out because it's going to be like, eh, code not allowed. But you can use it on the vast majority of Chesapeake's web store and get yourself some great stuff at a 10% off discount. And yes, it's an affiliate code, so the channel does get a small kickback. You're getting good stuff, and you know, you're helping support your one of your hopefully favorite YouTubers out there. All right, let's get into the ingredients like we usually do, okay? For the oil, we got jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, <sighs> shana oil, squalene oil, emu oil, and essential fragrance blends. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, for the butter, you've got shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, olipi nut butter, lanolin, jojoba oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, abyssian oil, cherry kernel oil, and essential fragrance blends. Okay, now I have to say with the um, subscription service for the scent of the month, you can either outright buy it or you can subscribe. What I thought was cool is... I got an email, I believe it was the first of the month, that said, hey, do you want to continue your subscription? So it's not like they just pull it right away like other subscription boxes do out there. They give you that option, yes, I'd like to purchase, or no, I do not want to carry forward. So I think that's pretty cool. Or you can just outright buy it month to month on their website or their um, mobile app that they have. But I'll tell you, I saved myself a little bit of money by doing the subscription for the next one for Kingston, 
which is August sense of the month for 2020. I'll be filming that in a little while. It was really weird how these came in almost back to back, but that's okay. Now, there are no discounts or affiliate codes allowed on the subscription service and no refunds or returns allowed on the subscription service. Now, just like every other sub box out there, they do have a certain cutoff point, and I believe their cutoff point is the 10th of the month. So say if you come in on the 11th and make an order, you're probably going to miss that next month and pick up the following month. Like, it happens with every single subscription box. They just have this cutoff point and you got to wait. So if you make it, great. If you don't, it's just how it happens. Now, the price on this, 36 bucks, which is not bad at all. It's really, truly not. You figure, what, 40 42 with shipping? That's like less than you may spend on two beard butters or a couple beard oils or anything else in a month. And let's face it, all of us are addicts. All of us love getting our beard products and all of us love getting stuff in. Okay, now if you're unfamiliar with how to use butter and oil, we're going to cover that right now. All right? The oil is real simple. It's just like every other beard oil we've ever brought. I like the fact that Chesapeake is going to the restrictor tops. I think it's kind of cool, and God forbid if I ever knock one over on the bathroom, my loss is going to be minimal, all right? But what you want to do is just shake it. Shake the crap out of your oil before you even try to apply it. Shake it like that brother-in-law who took your last Pop-Tart, and you just bleh, shake the crap out of it. It also helps remix everything up in case anything, maybe like the essential oils have settled on the bottom. It's just shake it up, all right? Now, obviously with the cap on you know take your cap off turn it over tap it and get the amount you think you need into your hand and this is why i'm saying it because sometimes people use way too much for my beard i use about a quarter size and this is what i tell everyone put the amount you think you need in there rub your hands together okay that's going to activate that scent profile coat both hands work it into your beard and groom it out that's how to apply it it's that simple after you've done that, go back like 30 minutes later and just gently rub your hand over your beard. If you have an oil slick, you've used way too much. Okay, Beard oil is going to give you three great uses for your beard. Number one is it's going to help nourish your beard. You need vitamin supplements for your skin underneath your beard to help your beard growing out luscious, long, beautiful, no split ends, no gnarls, no anything else. Doubt me, go a weekend without showering. For those of you familiar with my channel, I'm sure you can hear the rage going on downstairs. Ah, I love my kids. Anywho, like I said, just go a weekend without shower. Your head hair is going to get all greasy, nasty, and just... Ugh, it's going to drive you crazy. This is going to get dry, brittle, and bird's nesty, and you're going to want to rip it out. Beard oil is going to help fix that. The second great use, as I touched on earlier in the video, is it's going to help soften up your beard. <clears throat> you do not want your better half getting in close and getting up next to a cactus because they're going to be like, boo, Heisman. And you're going to be denied. Yeah, you want them coming in close and that nice comfort and that beautiful up there. And the third great use is when you find a scent profile that works for you and your better half loves, oh yeah, it just adds to the fun. Now, the beard butter. Okay. I've only used it a couple times since I had it. Yeah, I know. Two really big gouges in there, but still. Uh, basically, you use it like every other beard butter you've ever used before. But basically, you drag your drag your fingernail through. I'm just going to use that amount for demonstration purposes only. I'll usually use about an amount that goes from the top of my finger right down there to that first little knuckle area. You really don't need much because a little does go a long way. Okay? Put it in your hand see it's already breaking down. And just warm it up, break it down to a different state. Okay? Work it into your beard, groom it out. It is that simple. Seriously. And it's going to provide great nutrition, great, you know, stuff for your beard. It's going to help, you know, just light hold. It, it, butter is awesome. I seriously prefer butter over balm. But I think I got all the fun parts. So, here we are on the fun part of the video for me. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. Have you picked up the story before? Have you used chest peak beard and grooming before? Have you had successes? Have you had failures? Guys, honestly, for a subscription box, this was a beautiful way to kick it all off. 
Yes, I know that Chesapeake did the art series, I think, a year ago, and it lasted like six months, and we're coming up on the third month now of the sign of the month. So I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what comes next. And yes, I'll be filming August ones here pretty soon. It's amazing. But still, for you first time viewers of the channel, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Look, I know you got lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you chose this channel. Now, for you first time viewers and you long time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why? Why don't you leave me a comment right down below what I can do to earn your subscription. Let's see if we can put it in use into a future video. Now, after you've done all that fun part, look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, if you so choose, please destroy the little bell icon that's located right next to it. Why? Great question. Because it's going to be able to notify, well, YouTube will be able to notify you every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much <coughs> on YouTube, no COVID, just fat boy sickness in the morning, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog, and they think they're going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick, I know, I talk a lot, but still, my quick look at Chesapeake Beard and Grooming's Distorted. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope all of you are being safe and having an incredible day today.